And I'm sure last season uh, was was tough on you having to miss most of it with an ACL tear. Mm -hmm. What was the rehab process like for you? And talk about where you are now. Um, you know, God is good, and that certainly doesn't change in situations like that. And um, the support that I got from the Concordia community it was overwhelming, and um, the staff, the athletic training staff, was incredible. And I rehabbed for six months, I think, and I, you know, I feel great. I feel strong. I feel ready to be back. So, yeah, it was a long road, but um, I definitely had a lot of support. You know, I'm not the first one on the team <laughs> to do it, so they rallied around me and got me through it definitely. I know you were held out in the spring too, so how much more anxious are you for this season maybe than, than in the past? Uh, yeah, I'm very anxious, very anxious. They let me play a little bit in the spring and that kind of was a little bit of a taste, but um, yeah, I'm excited to to be competitive again and and get back out and play. I'm ready. I'm definitely ready. You've been in, in Seward over the summer, as have a lot of your teammates. Uh, tell me about what the routine has been like uh, for you, both working out on your own and with with whoever else is here. Yeah, it's, it's kind of been an unusual summer because it's been my first summer here in Seward, and a lot of my teammates has been theirs too. So um, we play a lot of soccer. <laughs> we play four times a week or more, and... Um, it's a lot of us on the women's team and a few on the men's team. So, um, yeah, just a lot of touches on the ball. It's been – we play a lot. So it's been it's been good. It's been fun. I've been proud of my teammates and the dedication and commitment it takes, you know. Every year you're going to lose some people, uh, but you do have a lot of returning yeah. players. What have you seen that, that makes you confident that you can make up for – losing uh, Jordan Donahue and Emily Fleming, who were pretty important players. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely going to miss them, but um, we have a lot of girls that are going to do big things for us this year, and uh, we're pretty experienced, you know. We have um, a lot of people who have had considerable minutes in the past couple of years, and that experience is something that, you know, you want in your corner when times are tough, so I think we're definitely going to miss Jordan and Flem, but We'll be able to move on. Since the end of uh, last season, who are some teammates that have impressed you with maybe their work ethic or just how they've improved uh, on the field? Um, yeah, like I'm expecting big things like out of Ashley Sklenichka and um, Katrina Muther, Rachel Mazel, Melissa Stein. You know, I could list a bunch. Um, Specifically this summer, our goalkeeper, Chrissy, she's worked super hard and has put in a lot of time. So, um, yeah, I'm looking for her to step up and have a good year. Now, last year you went into fall camp not really knowing Coach Henson too much. Uh, how much more comfortable will you and your teammates be now that, that you've gone through a full season with him? Um, yeah. You know, the transition wasn't too hard when he came in. Um, he did a really good job at um, making it smooth for us, and I think now, you know, we're getting into more of his style of play. And, um, you know, I think it's a testament to him already, the fact that we're, we've stayed here this summer and that um, maybe there's a little bit more commitment to the program than there was. So. Um, we're definitely heading in the right direction as a program. Now, we talked about Jordan Donahue's eligibility as used up as a, a player, but she's sticking around to, to help Coach Henson on the staff. Uh, what are your thoughts on her becoming part of the staff? I'm excited. I'm excited. She's a she's an awesome player and an awesome teammate and an awesome friend, and um, she's going to be great to be around. She's going to be a real asset to the program. So will it be weird calling her coach, or how do you <laughs> refer to her? Yeah, I've been calling her coach lately, but, <laughs> yeah, it's it'll be different, but I don't think it'll be good. It'll be a good thing. And the last thing is what will make this a successful season for you personally and for the team? 
Um, personally, honestly, it, getting to play is a success, especially from sitting out the last year. So, you know, getting to play, that's enough for me. But um, on a season, I think we want to win the GPAC. That's the goal. Um, so working hard every game and, you know, maybe – we're not going to be the most skilled team coming up against some of these, but, you know, that's going to happen. But will we be outworked? No. We're definitely going to work harder than than every opponent, and we're coming for the GPAC championship.